Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Grizzly Bear Sims YouTube channel and another Grizzly Bear Sims course play tutorial. So as we progress through the various course play tutorials that I'm going to cover, we're slowly going from the more simplistic to the more advanced. And this is another relatively simplistic task that can be done with course play. And, and it can actually be done quite well with course play. Uh, so here we are. We're in our new highland uh, here on the Lawfolds map. And it was a rainy day uh, yesterday in the game day or towards the end of the game day. So we're really stuck with not being able to do anything uh, today, but some uh, field tasks like plowing and stuff like that just to get ready for the next um, spring uh, planting season and so here we are we're in our new holland with our uh, small um, um, uh, plow uh, that's attached to the back of it so let's go ahead and get inside of our tractor and let's set this up for uh, for plowing of this field. This is field number 33 so we'll bring up our course play um, HUD here and I don't have a course here for this field just yet, but that's what we're going to do here today. So the mode that we need to be in is this mode here, field work. It's got the little squiggly line at the top, the gear, and it looks like a wrench and a hammer icon. So we'll illuminate that green. We'll come over here to the course generation uh, tab, and here we will find our field edge path, and this is field number 33, so go through and find field number 33, and if you want to just be for certain that it's on the right field, you can click this little eyeball uh, icon over here, and it will show you a, a blue uh, perimeter line around the edge of the field, so we don't need that anymore. Our working width of our plow is uh, 6.2 meters, so if we want to double check that we can also hit the little calculator and it will show the working width here and one thing that you will know if you've watched some of my videos you know that sometimes the working width for things like course play as well as the GPS mod things like that aren't always 100% accurate so you kind of, it's kind of a trial and error kind of thing and once you kind of learn what's accurate and what's not then you know you can go ahead and trust it for this plow 6.2 meters is spot on and it works very well now, the next thing that we have to do is we have to define what our starting corner and our starting direction is going to be. So I typically like to sort of start next to the entry point for the field. And so here is our gate to come into this field down here. It's actually in the south um, in the southeast portion of the field. Now, these fields don't necessarily run um, perfectly north and south or east and west, but they do pretty good. And so uh, if you're a little confused about that, you can always bring up the larger map and that kind of will kind of help you. So north is at the top, south is at the bottom, east is on the right over here and west is over here on the left. So that's how that will always be orientated for you. So what we want to do is we want to try to determine the best um, and fastest way of plowing a field. So I'll bring up the big map again. And again, because the field is sort of um, uh, rec more rectangular than it is square, we ultimately want um, the, and, and uh, obviously the quickest uh, method is going to be going up and down for the most part versus uh, versus lengthwise. So uh, in a north-south direction versus east-west is going to be faster. So what we want to do is we'll get rid of the big map again, and we're going to start down here in the southeast corner, like I said, because that is where our gate is. Our starting direction is going to be north. We're going to try that and see if that will work. We don't necessarily need to return to the first point, but if we wanted to, just to kind of get the tractor back to the location where it was, you can turn that on. And what that means is is that after uh, the uh, AI, uh, course play AI has finished their work, they will drive the tractor back to the starting position. Uh, kind of helpful. And a headland, I typically have found that here on Law Folds, about three headlands uh, seems to work fine. You know, there is still plenty of edge here between the field edge and the fence, but three will give you that little bit better uh, detail. And I like to do my headlands obviously last because that's a little bit more realistic when you're doing uh, seeding and plowing and that sort of thing. So that's what we're going to do for that. Now, if we want to check it, and again, I would, well, first of all, we have to click the course generation, um, the generate course icon here. That will generate our course. 
and then it will show because I already had clicked this earlier it will show this um, display and this shows our direction so we're all, we are perfect we're going up and down uh, our field so north and south this will be the quickest uh, least time consuming method of, of plowing this field versus going across this direction because you can see as you can see there would be a lot more turns backing up etc so that's going to be much much slower okay so now that we've done that we're going to go ahead and click on this tab we're going to go ahead and turn on four-wheel drive just to help give the uh, AI driver just a little bit better traction um, I have found that there's really nothing that we need to change on this tab. If you wanted to uh, show the waypoints, you could do that. And obviously, you'd see all of the various waypoints that the tractor is going to drive sometimes. This is actually helpful in determining where the starting location is going to be. But again, uh, we don't need it for this, ep epi or for this um, episode, so we'll turn that off. We can also get rid of that as well. Um, again, nothing really here. We'll go ahead and let him do his default turn speed and field speed that seems to work uh, just fine for me and since we're not doing a recording that is fine and these other tabs again these are fine these these will be uh, adjusted when we start doing other types of modes with course play uh, we'll come back over here and we'll actually go ahead and save our course now if you look I sort of have a naming convention um, where I define the field number I define the action I define the direction the width of the implement and the number of times that we're doing a headland so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click the save icon I'm going to type F um, 33 for field number 33 this is a plowing action we're going southeast to north we're going to do uh, we're using a 6.2 meter uh, implement and we're going to do a headlands three times so that's really my uh, my naming convention you can do whatever you want to here with uh, with naming your various course play um, routes and such that's just what I use and it makes sense to me so we've already loaded this course so what we need to do now is we need to get our tractor uh, fired up here and we will take a look and see where our starting course is now sometimes what I will do is um, if it's not easily to see and there it actually is right there behind us so I will go ahead and drive the AI around and let's just say for example if the starting course was at the other end of the field you could go ahead and and set this for first waypoint and drive course and and he would uh, the AI driver would go ahead and find himself and uh, drive himself up to that location so what I like to do is, is set the course or set the tractor just a little bit behind uh, the weight point there and we will just go ahead and do drive course and of course always the uh, course play AI will actually lift the plow fold the plow it'll do the same thing if you're seating or anything else uh, that's just what it does and now it's going to unfold the plow and it will go ahead and lower the plow and it will start plowing here in just a moment and he will go um, almost all the way up to the top of the field automatically turn and come around and he will after a period of time and actually a new feature that was added oh just a few weeks ago um, in this version of course play for farm sim 17 and I talked about this I think on Cobra Park Farm uh, one of my episodes over there soon after this feature was identified but uh, this is an estimation, of course, uh, only just an estimation of how long it will take for course play, the course play AI driver to complete this course. So about 44 minutes or so. You know, don't um, don't set your clock by this, um, and because um, it is just. Um, an estimate of course but anyway that is how you set up course play for plowing a field I hope that uh, you're getting something out of these uh, course play tutorials and obviously it is my hope that these course play tutorials will help you on your virtual farm so we will just kind of uh, watch our AI drive the tractor he's making his uh, or her I think it's a her actually and she's doing a fine job by the way so she will come up and get on her second line here and she'll probably back up just a little bit lower the plow and she will plow her next row just like that that's all there is to it plowing with course play take care folks come back again real soon for another episode thanks for watching bye bye